Good afternoon. Welcome to Ask the Expert. My name is Mark Pennine, Talonstone Installation Manager for Ardex Americas. Over the last few weeks, we've collected some questions on our new three uncoupling systems. Today, I'm going to answer those questions. If I happen to answer one of your questions, you're going to receive one of these. What is that? This is a loudmouth. This device actually helps the installer when he's installing his wires in his Flexbone system. If he happens to damage a wire, this will make a loud sound telling the installer to stop and look for the damage. Thanks, Mark. Let's get started. Okay, Artix has three unique uncoupling systems. We offer the only on the market, truly floating uncoupling membrane, the Artex UI720. Also, we have the bonded version, the UI740 flexbone uncoupling system. And now we have our new three in one heating flexbone membrane. All right, let's get to the questions. What is the smallest tile that can be set over the flexbone products? So for the 720, the floating uncoupling membrane, we recommend an eight inch by eight inch tile. For the 740 bonded application, as well as the flexbone heat membrane, a two by two mosaic is the smallest tile recommended. Can gauge porcelain tile or panels be set over any of the membranes? This question is from Advanced Flooring. Wow, that's a great question. So the gauge porcelain tile panel has a new ANSI standard, which is A108.19. That standard does not consider uncoupling membranes as suitable substrates. However, Ardex is conducting their own testing with test results pending, so please stand by. Thanks, Mark. Let's answer some questions about Ardex UI 720 Flexbone floating uncoupling membrane. What is the minimum floor thickness over plywood for 720? So when you're installing the UI 720 over a wood floor substrate, you want to have a minimum 5 eighths of an inch tongue and groove exterior glue plywood on 16 inch on center. Is 720 approved over asbestos tile? Another really good question. So asbestos is an issue. Artex never recommends installing anything over asbestos. If you have a project with asbestos flooring, please contact Artex technical department on the, on the number on the screen provided. Where can the Flexbone UI720 floating uncoupling membrane be used? The UI720 is rated according to the Robinson floor test as light commercial as well as residential. What this means is it can be used in storefronts, offices, and actually places where you cannot do remediation. You may have bond breakers like contamination, uh, oil, gas, paint, and things like that, where as long as the floor is reasonably flat, you just roll out the mat and start installing your tile. Thanks, Mark. Let's move on to Ardex UI740 Flexbone Uncoupling Membrane. How soon can you start installing tile over Flexbone UI740? Ardex offers two fast track installation options. First is the Ardex AF207 one component uncoupling adhesive. When using this product, you can install tile immediately. If you want to use a mortar, we offer the Ardex S28 self drying uncoupling mortar. Tiles can be installed as soon as four hours. What about manufacturers who say you can use mortars and then get on the mat immediately? So if you're using a standard set mortar, you always have to be careful when you kneel down as a tile installer that you don't cause displacement on that mat. When you displace that mortar, that's going to create hollow spots. And those hollow spots are going to create larger issues in the tile assembly. So we never recommend getting on a membrane immediately when using a standard set mortar. Are there any service restrictions for Flexbone UI740? Artex 7, uh, UI740 is rated extra heavy according to the Robinson floor test. What that means is it can basically be used anywhere. It can be used for large porcelain tile installations in very heavy traffic areas. Finally, let's discuss Artex Flexbone heat membrane in floor heating systems with the three in one membrane. This question is from John Mayano. He asks, how many rows separating each line of cables do you need? So the Flexbone cable is installed between two flex bone cross bones and they're installed 3.8 inches apart. Now there are some other products on the market that are installed at three and three and a half inches apart. The flex bone cables are a little bit wider but the cables are much more efficient and you can use a shorter cable and save money. 
How do you decide how long of a cable you need for your installation? We always recommend finding the total square foot coverage of that room. And then you want to deduct any areas where the wires will not be installed. As an example, you don't want to install wires under vanities, toilets, maybe in a kitchen. You definitely don't want to install them under a refrigerator or stove. So you want to deduct that square footage from the, the, the whole square footage amount. And then you want to match up with the closest cable to that measurement. If you're between wires, you always want to go to the lower uh, square footage wire, not the higher square footage. We always recommend starting the cable six inches away from the wall. So if you do have extra wire, that gives you some space to run out extra wire. Can FlexBone heat be installed in a shower? Absolutely. It can be installed as a single cable system utilizing our waterproofing system or it can be used as um, a, a cable that goes from the bathroom floor into a curbless shower. Can they contact our technical department if they have questions? Absolutely. We always recommend contacting the Artex technical department as well as always get a, uh, a certified electrician involved. Do you have the ability to heat a room or just the tile? This question is from Rick D. Ross. Anytime you're installing electric uh, radiant floor heating systems, they're not recommended for primary heat source. However, they can be used for supplemental heat if you put an addition on your home. Maybe you have a sun porch that you're closing in or you have a basement that has, not, that has no primary heat. They can definitely offer heat for those rooms. How many amps are the thermostats rated for and how many wires can be placed on one thermostat? That all depends on how long the wire is that you need for that room. The, the Ardex thermostat is, uh, takes a 15 amp breaker. You can only use 80% of the current for that breaker. So that means the wires must have a 12 amp for that service. Can FlexBone heat be installed in an exterior application? No, FlexBone heat is interior installations only. Where should the thermostat sensor wire be placed? The thermostat sensor wire can be placed as far in the room as the, as the length of the wire will allow. We always recommend that the sensor goes in between the two wires in the mat. Now remember, it has to be at least six inches from the wall. Most of the times, uh, guys will install it uh, between one and two feet from the wall. How many sensor wires come with each system? Another really good question. So what Ardex does is they offer one sensor wire with the thermostat and one sensor wire with the Ardex cables. This way you have two sensor wires to install in the system. One of the sensor wires will be hooked directly to the thermostat and if something should happen to that sensor wire it's an easy switch from the two wires. Thank you Mark for participating in our Ask the Expert Ardex Flexbone Edition. Uh, thank you, and we look forward to your questions. Please contact Artex Technical Department, and please send the questions.